Hey guys, welcome to Edison Medicine. We are up again with another tutorial video on Abrus precatorius, continuing the segment of plant irritant poisons on toxicology. Abrus precatorius, also known as Indian licorice or rosary bead, is a slender climber with feather-like leaves bearing 10 to 15 pairs of leaflets as you can see on the picture by side. This is the seed pod of Abrus precatorius, which resembles pea in shape and is about 1 to 3 inches long and when open, reveals 3 to 8 seeds of Abrus. What you see here are not ladybugs, but seeds of Abrus. These are egg-shaped, bright scarlet in color, with a large black spot at the end. The seeds measure 8 mm long and 6 mm broad and weigh about 105 mg and these are the poisonous part of the plant. These are the active principles which make the seeds of Abrus poisonous. One is Abrin, a tox albumin, similar to the viperan snake venom. Another is Abrine, amino acid, which also acts like lipolytic enzyme. The others are Abrelin, a glucoside and Abric acid. Out of all the active principles, Abrin is the major one, which inhibits protein synthesis and causes cell death. The fatal dose of Abrus is 1 to 2 seeds, or 90 to 120 mg by injection, it is to be noted that subcutaneously abrin is 100 times as toxic as by the oral route and the fatal period is about 3 to 5 days. So, what are the signs and symptoms of abrus poisoning? They are irritation of GIT, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, bloody diarrhea and rectal bleeding. Remember, the seeds of abrus are red in color, so red for bloody diarrhea and rectal bleeding. Other signs and symptoms include weakness, cold perspiration, trembling of hands, weak and rapid pulse. Similarly, delayed cytotoxic effects due to abrin can occur in CNS, liver, kidney and adrenal glands 2-5 to five days after the exposure which also marks the fatal period for abrus. There also can be hemolysis, oliguria and uremia. In fact, all of this suggests that abrus poisoning is quite dangerous. What if the seeds are not ingested but instead their extracts are injected into the skin? There would be painful swelling at the site along with oozing of hemorrhagic fluid from the site of puncture followed by inflammation, edema and sometimes necrosis as well. This injection may be used for animal poisoning by leather workers to obtain the leather in cheap price or by someone who is seeking for revenge. As the signs and symptoms resemble those of viperanistic bite, the owner of the cattle may also not suspect of poisoning. Did you know that needles or sharp pointed spikes are prepared from the seeds of abrus by mixing them with datura or opium in spirit or water? Such needles are used as arrow poison and can also be used for human poisoning or homicides. In case of human poisoning due to injection of needles, there would be echemosis, inflammation and necrosis at the site of injection. If there is ingestion of seeds or extract, then the person would develop hemorrhagic gastritis, vertigo, vomiting, dyspnea and convulsions may precede death from cardiac failure. So, what's the treatment for abrus poisoning? Gastric lavage for decontamination of poison, activated charcoal for adsorption of poison, and in case if the poisoning is due to needle injection, the needle should be dissected out first. And the fact that there is availability of anti-abrin as an antidote for abrus poisoning, this one stands out among all the poisoning due to plant irritants. What would be the post-mortem appearances in any person who has died of abrus poisoning? Fragments of needles may be found inside. Similarly, there could be edema at the site of injection and petechial hemorrhages may be seen on the skin, pleura, peritoneum and pericardium. Also, the internal organs may show congestion as well as hemorrhages. So, what are the medical legal importances of abrus poisoning? Abrus can be used as cattle poison or as arrow poison. It can be used for homicide. Since abrus diminishes the uterine function and prevents conception, it is used as abortifacient. Also, the powder from seeds of abris can cause conjunctivitis. For homicide, the needles prepared from abris extract is kept in between two fingers and the person is slapped in such a way that the needle is driven into his body. 
This will surely make you remember a dialogue from a renowned Bollywood movie called Dabang, but in a slightly reverse manner. Pyaar se darne lagta saap, thappar se lagta hai. So, here we are at the end of our tutorial video. We hope we could help you a bit. If you have any queries, any suggestions, drop them in comment section below. We would love to hear it from you guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Keep loving, keep supporting. See you soon with another tutorial video. Thank you guys.